In July of this year, astronomers detected a strange green visitor speeding into our solar system at nearly 60 kilometers s. At first, it was dismissed as just another interstellar wanderer, the third after Oumuamua and Borisov. But as the weeks passed and the object now known as Three Atlas drew closer to the Sun, something began to happen that no one could explain. Instead of following the predictable path of a comet, it started to expand and glow with a brightness far beyond expectations. Its coma grew to sizes rivaling stars, and its light curve broke every model designed to track it. Scientists now warn that as it reaches its closest approach to the Sun, it could become even brighter and stranger still, defying everything we know about interstellar objects. But what is powering this rapid transformation? Is it just ice and dust sublimating under solar heat? Or is 3 Atlas hiding something far more extraordinary within its core? If you're fascinated by mysteries like this unfolding in real time, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future updates as Atlas reveals more of its secrets. The first anomaly came when 3i Atlas crossed within two astronomical units of the Sun, where its apparent brightness suddenly jumped. Light curves are normally reliable. As comets approach the Sun, they brighten in smooth, predictable increments. But Atlas didn't follow the script. Its glow surged far more than expected, creating a leap in magnitude that left astronomers scrambling. Amateur observers with modest telescopes saw it flare brighter than entire models allowed, while spectroscopic readings suggested the glow wasn't just from its coma, but from deep within its nucleus. That implied something inside the object was fueling its light, a process not seen in ordinary comets. Some suggested hidden reserves of exotic ices were releasing energy as they vaporized. Others whispered of entirely new mechanisms, processes closer to nuclear reactions than chemistry. Whatever the cause, the fact remained. Atlas was no longer behaving like a simple chunk of ice and rock. It was becoming a beacon. As Atlas grew brighter, another mystery emerged, the eerie green tint radiating from its coma. Normally, such colors are linked to specific molecules like diatomic carbon, C2, glowing when struck by sunlight. But the first spectrographic analyses of Atlas had shown no overabundance of these molecules. And yet, as it closed in on the sun, the green intensified. Astronomers in Namibia captured stacked images, showing a dense emerald glow shimmering, as though something deeper than chemistry was unfolding. Some suggested new elements were volatilizing from the nucleus, hidden compounds being revealed only under extreme heat. Others proposed something far stranger, that its plasma environment, a charged mix of dust and ionized gases, was behaving like a self-organized system, its electromagnetic currents shaping light in ways that mimic life itself. To the untrained eye, it was simply a glowing green star in motion. But to scientists, it was a signal that 3E Atlas may not just be reacting to the sun. It may be evolving under its touch. One of the strangest features of 3E Atlas is its tail, or rather the lack of one. Comets always form tails streaming away from the sun as solar radiation blasts dust and gas outward. But Atlas doesn't fit that pattern. Observations show its coma expanding in the sunward direction, forming what astronomers call an anti-tail, pushing directly toward the very star that should be stripping it bare. In stacked images, the green plasma halo points forward instead of trailing behind, a phenomenon that defies conventional physics. Some compare it to a magnetic sail catching the solar wind in a way that bends plasma flows back toward the sun. Others suggest it could be evidence of artificial structuring fields manipulating charged particles into precise geometries. To skeptics, it is simply another anomaly in a long list. But to those who look deeper, the anti-tail may be the strongest evidence yet that Atlas is not natural at all, but something crafted, maneuvering through forces we barely understand. As October approaches, the chance to observe Atlas grows dangerously short. On October 21st, it will pass into superior conjunction, aligning directly with the Sun and Earth, hidden in the solar glare at the exact moment its behavior may peak. For ground-based telescopes, this creates a blackout window, a blind spot that ensures its most critical days will unfold unseen. Only probes orbiting Mars will have a clear line of sight during its closest approach on October 3rd, when it sweeps past the red planet at terrifying speed. Reconnaissance orbiters and spectrometers are already preparing to capture what Earth cannot, hoping to constrain the true size of its nucleus 
and measure the strange elements glowing in its tail. But time is running out. By the end of October, Atlas will have passed perihelion, fading again into the deep as fast as it came, leaving only questions in its wake. And for now we are left wondering whether we are witnessing just another interstellar rock, or a signal from something far older, far more intelligent and far more deliberate. October 3rd is now marked as one of the most critical dates in the study of 3i Atlas. On that day, the object will make a close flyby of Mars, passing within a quarter of an astronomical unit of the Red Planet. For astronomers, this encounter is a golden opportunity, as multiple orbiters and rovers are already stationed around Mars with instruments capable of measuring brightness, spectrum, and even chemical signatures. Taos's MAVEN, ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter, and China's Tianwen-1 are all expected to turn their eyes toward Atlas, attempting to capture what Earth-based telescopes will soon be unable to see. If the nucleus truly harbors exotic elements or processes, Mars-based data may provide the first solid confirmation. Yet this proximity has sparked another unsettling thought. If 3E Atlas can influence electromagnetic fields, as some of its plasma behavior suggests, what effect might it have on the sensitive electronics orbiting Mars? Could this flyby be not just an observation opportunity, but also a test? As Atlas plunges deeper into the inner solar system, a frustrating irony emerges. Its most dramatic transformations are expected to occur precisely during the time when it will be impossible to observe from Earth. Between October 21st and 31st, Atlas will be hidden by the glare of the Sun during superior conjunction. That means no ground-based telescope can record its perihelion, the critical point of closest approach to the Sun where its activity will peak. To astronomers, this is both maddening and suspicious. For random comets, blackout windows are coincidences of geometry. But for an interstellar object already defying expectations, some now whisper whether this timing is more than chance. Could Atlas's trajectory have been designed to ensure its most vital moment unfolds unseen? If so, then what is it doing during those hidden days, shielded from our gaze by the very star it orbits? The closer Atlas moves toward the Sun, the stranger its composition appears to become. Initially, observations revealed a faint mix of nickel, carbon monoxide, and common cometary compounds. But as its coma expanded and brightened, new elements began to appear in its spectrum, most notably diatomic carbon, creating the striking green glow. The problem? Atlas should not contain that much C2, at least not based on its early readings. That means its chemistry is evolving, changing in real time as it reacts to solar radiation. Some suggest we are witnessing buried layers being exposed, revealing exotic ices and molecules frozen for millions of years. Others, however, argue that the shifts look too structured, almost like stages in a process, an unfolding sequence rather than a random release. If this is true, then Atlas is not just reacting to the sun. It is transforming step by step in a way that resembles not geology, but engineering Atlas is only the third interstellar. Visitor humanity has ever recorded after Hayao in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, each has carried its own enigma. Umwamua with its strange cigar, shape and unexplained acceleration, Borisov with its hypercometry activity, and now Atlas with its runaway brightness and anti-tail. Taken together, a troubling pattern emerges. These are not random drifters. They are anomalies, each one stranger than the last, each one pushing the limits of what science can explain. If they are natural, then the universe is far more complex and chaotic than we ever imagined. But if they are not, if there is intent behind their visits, then perhaps these objects are not independent mysteries at all, but chapters of a larger story unfolding across centuries. And if that is the case, then 3E Atlas may not be the last. It may simply be the herald of what comes next.